What does it mean to be truly invincible in life? This question has intrigued many. Invincibility is a concept that has fascinated humans, often associated with superheroes, mythical creatures, and advanced technology. However, true invincibility is not about being untouched by trials. It's about standing tall amidst them. It's the strength to endure, the resilience to bounce back, and the ability to persevere. To cultivate such resilience, we delve into an ancient philosophy, Stoicism. Originating in ancient Athens, Stoicism teaches us that we can control how we respond to circumstances, not necessarily the circumstances themselves. It is a philosophy about accepting the inevitability of adversity, focusing our efforts on what we can change, and developing an internal fortress impervious to life's turbulence. Stoicism is not about indifference, but understanding our emotions and using them for growth. It's about finding peace in chaos and deriving joy from the ordinary. Invincibility is not a superhuman ability, but resilience, the power to endure, adapt and thrive. It is the stoic art of living. Invincibility, in essence, is the power of, and it's the Stoics who mastered this art. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy, yet so relevant in today's world, Born in the bustling streets of Athens over two millennia ago, Stoicism was conceived by a merchant-turned-philosopher, Zeno of Citium. Zeno, after losing his fortune at sea, found solace in the teachings of Socrates and Crates, which led him to formulate the foundations of this enduring philosophy. Stoicism is a philosophy that champions resilience and emotional fortitude. It teaches us to remain undeterred in the face of life's adversities, to control our responses to external events, and to understand that our perception of these events is the only thing within our control. At the core of Stoicism lies the principle of living in agreement with nature. Now, this doesn't mean we need to abandon our homes and live in the wilderness. Rather, it refers to understanding the nature of the world and our place within it. It's about acknowledging the impermanence of everything around us and accepting the natural order of life and death. Central to Stoicism is the emphasis on virtue as the highest good. Virtue in this context is not just about moral goodness, but about excellence of character and disposition. It's about cultivating wisdom, courage, justice and temperance. It's about striving to be the best we can be, not for accolades or applause, but for the sake of virtue itself. So, Stoicism isn't about suppressing emotions, but about mastering them. It's not about being indifferent to the world, but about understanding it. It's not about abandoning desire, but about desiring wisely. Stoicism is about transforming our perspective, about turning obstacles into opportunities, about finding peace amidst chaos. Stoicism is not just a philosophy, but a way of life, a path to invincibility. It's about standing tall when the world wants to bring you down, about finding calm in the storm, about understanding that we are not the victims of our circumstances, but the masters of our responses to them. Stoic philosophers, the pioneers of resilience, the true embodiments of invincibility. These masters of equanimity have left indelible footprints on the sands of time, their teachings guiding us through life's tumultuous seas, First, let's wander through the annals of history to the grandeur of Rome, where we encounter Seneca. This illustrious philosopher, statesman and dramatist was not a stranger to adversity. Exiled, accused of conspiracy and facing life's harshest realities, Seneca's writings reflect his unwavering commitment to Stoic principles. He taught us that we suffer more often in imagination than in reality, a lesson that serves as a beacon of hope in our modern age anxieties. Next, we traverse to the humble abode of Epictetus, a slave who rose above his circumstances to become one of the greatest Stoic philosophers. Despite his early life filled with hardship and suffering, Epictetus showed us that we cannot control everything around us, but we can always control our response. His teachings remind us that it's not what happens to us, but how we respond to what happens to us that matters. Finally, we stand in the shadow of the great Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius. Known as the Philosopher King, he was a paragon of patience, wisdom and self-discipline. Amidst the clamour of ruling an empire, Marcus Aurelius found solace in the tranquility of Stoic philosophy. His meditations, a series of personal writings, offer timeless wisdom, 
He taught us that we have power over our mind, not outside events, and realizing this is to find strength. These Stoic philosophers from different walks of life face their adversities with unflinching resolve, their lives becoming the embodiment of the Stoic philosophy. They found strength not in avoidance, but in acceptance, not in denial, but in understanding. They remind us that resilience is not about resisting the storm, but learning to dance in the rain. Their lives are testament to the power of Stoicism, to the essence of invincibility.